This video is about the North America construction framing softwood lumber market and prices for the second week of March 2024. Hello again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here once again to give the latest update of what is going on with softwood lumber prices, sales, and the market in general. And so last week I explained that there was a slight uptick in some prices, especially that benchmark Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4 number two and better was just up $10 over the previous week, which had mostly been flat uh, for the past couple of months. And it's flat at that level again this week. Seems a little bit unusual for the time of year when uh, builders are looking forward to the spring construction season and normally sort of, especially in February, uh, lumber prices traditionally have been going up. And so, you know, we're not in normal. Uh, it hasn't been normal since 2020. And last year uh, prices, you know, that terrible volatility that we all saw for that couple and a half years did not happen last year. The trend line was very good and stable although somewhat low. Uh, and so it's a lot of unknowns where both the customer and the producer are unsure of what will be happening for this year's construction building season. And so everybody's being really very cautious. On the buying side, the customers are only purchasing still now the wood that they really need for projects that are ongoing. There's no inventory building. And there is uh, quite a lack of inventory uh, throughout the marketplace with the sawmills and the wholesalers and reloads. Nobody really wants to stock up on wood because they don't want to get caught holding wood at a higher value if the price is going to go down. Now, we're telling you here at Madison's that the price is not going to go down because over that uh, year and a half since 2022, when interest rates started going up, the uh, new price floor has been discovered, which is approximately, well, let's say $430, $430 US per thousand board feet on that Western Spruce. Um, and so, as I explained in my previous video, that price had been $442 for almost a couple of months, and last week popped up to $452, and this week is staying flat at that level. However, wides, your 2 by 10 and 2 by 12 prices did increase and economy prices increased. So the price that I talk about most of the time is the standard construction framing that meets the building code, number two and better. There's also number three utility and then there's number four economy. Those two prices usually lag uh, when they change by a couple of weeks, depending on what the two and better did, because that's the market driver. Now, the wides, mm, if those prices are increasing as they are now, where the, the narrows, the 2x4, 2x6, and 2x8 are staying the same, that tends to indicate that it's not a demand side situation, but supply side. That might mean that the sawmills are either having trouble or are not harvesting the bigger trees. And so they can't get the wider lumber out of it because you need a tree of a certain dimension to, of a certain circumference to be able to make those wider boards. So that's going to be something interesting to watch. Now, like I said in previous videos, normally sort of February, uh, really normally historically, February uh, prices would be increasing as the large U.S. home builders are stocking up for their multi-multi many home projects that they have going on uh, later in the spring. And that I would expect to happen, but maybe it won't happen until April. And it depends on what is the building um, activity going to be this year. Last year was quite muted. 2024 expectations are it's going to be pretty good. But, you know, it's still only March, so we don't know yet. Something to keep in mind is that in a couple of weeks at the end of March is Easter. Easter is a very big deal in Canada. It will be a holiday. Mills will be closed, especially in Quebec. Quebec will probably take longer than two or three days off. 
And if that intersects with this sort of inventory, uh, low inventory level, uh, tight supply that I'm talking about, this might cause a run up of the price. Now, when the mills are so much curtailed as they are right now, curtailed on top of having low capacity utilization rates, as I was explaining in my last video, somewhere around 80% lower than 80%, especially in Canada, uh, lots of room over the past um, year and a half for more wood volume manufacturing to come online. We have had announcements of some actual mill closures, but we've also had announcements of mill reopening, mill investment, mill sales, and new mills being built. Okay, so it's impossible to see because some of these, you know, uh, especially the mill building uh, is announced now, but it's gonna be a year and a half before that facility is running. And so we'll have to wait and see how that plays out over the next couple of weeks and couple of months. And for now, let me just show you some of these graphs and charts for uh, the week of March 8th, where the prices are and what that movement has been. So for this year, like I was saying, we've got a, a very stable price on this benchmark Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4, number two and better. That's the blue line showing you 2024. The extreme volatility of the previous couple of years is going to start getting worked out of this graph, which is a two year rolling. And in a few weeks, um, that uh, high red line is gonna start disappearing 2022. And we're gonna be able to start seeing a little bit more uh, regular price fluctuation and stability, which is visible there with the yellow line. Last year, 2023, looks extremely flat in comparison uh, to the scale, but uh, soon, you know, those high numbers, the $1,200 and $1,100 is gonna start disappearing off the graph and we'll have a better vision of what it's gonna look like going forward. Then we have the uh, other prices, uh, again, showing you uh, compared to the historical and looking pretty good um, <clears throat> compared to previous week up from the month prior. So that would be normal. Um, we have the fourth line down there, the Western Spruce Studs, increased this week for the week of March 8th by quite a bit, $22 per thousand board feet. That's nice. But check out that panel. Canadian softwood plywood, 9.5 millimeters out of Toronto, 3 8 inch, the benchmark, way up, $55 or almost 8% in one week. Uh, or $87, uh, more than 13% compared to one month ago. So my next video coming up is going to be about plywood and OSB oriented strand board, the panel. These are the uh, three items that are needed to build a standard North American, European or Japanese home, some kind of dimension two by four, some kind of stud and either plywood and OSB. And so together, these are really good indicators of what's happening with the market. And if the dimension prices aren't really changing that much, but the panel suddenly starts going up, it is possible. This means that there will be an increase in dimension prices, but it's not insured because panel is used for other things besides single family home building. Then we're here, we have the index, Madison's Lumber Prices Index for March 8th. This is constructed uh, in the same uh, way as the new lumber futures, meaning uh, western spruce, eastern spruce, hemp fir inland, and a little bit of Douglas fir uh, prices all mixed together. They are heavily weighted towards the western spruce. And so this uh, is up a little bit over the one week ago and is up, you know, 4% from one month ago. And so for people who are trying to look at trend lines or what is the momentum, it is going up. The specifically Western Spruce graph looks flat right now on the two by fours, but like I was saying, there has been uh, an increase in uh, the two by 10 and two by 12 price. And there has been increases in some of the straight lengths 
in some of the specified lengths. So that's going to be something worth watching going forward. Okay, and so that's the explanation for now. Lots more to come over the next weeks and months. Um, there were some people asking on my YouTube about uh, Douglas Fir Green or Kiln Dried. And uh, I will do a video on the coastal species. Not just yet because those prices are uh, not changing uh, over the past couple of months uh, since last year. And there's not really much to report. I will, I will do a video on that. But I am right now for uh, this week going to do a video on the panel and the plywood and OSB, which those prices did change by a lot this week and last week, which often indicates an increase in demand of real wood buying that could translate into dimension lumber buying and price increases in the coming weeks. Not necessarily because panel is used for other things besides home building, but more importantly, there is not always an exact correlation between the, uh, what the panel mills are doing and what the dimension lumber mills are doing. There's way more mills making dimension lumber, way more companies than there are for panel. And so as uh, some of my longer term viewers remember me saying, panel prices do not fall below the cost of production as we had with dimension lumber there for about mm, eight years between 06 and you know 2017 when housing was very low and the mills had been manufacturing wood as if it was still 2005 uh, and oversupplied the market and sank the price which stayed depressed for so long because there was wood everywhere. The panel mills don't do that. Plywood and OSB mills, the companies, a lot of them are not publicly traded. They don't have to report and they can just shut down. They'll go off the market. If they don't like what the price is that the customers are trying to renegotiate at, they won't sell. Okay. So in the past couple of weeks, uh, the next video that I'm going to do is going to explain the plywood and OSB um, price changes and maybe what that means for lumber, but definitely what that means for panel. So if you like what you see here, click like so this video will get uh, recommended to other viewers. Subscribe so that you'll get notified when we make another video and go on my website, have a look, uh, request a sample. There's a form there. You can ask to see the full list of commodities that we track, 500 individual softwood lumber and panel prices that we do every week, what those prices are for that week, and the market commentary explaining why those prices changed, which is what my customers who have uh, access to the dashboard get to see every week. These small snippets that I show on the website and the YouTube is a tiny, tiny portion of what you can see and what you can do, filtering, sorting, uh, comparing prices against each other, macroeconomic indicators there on the dashboard. So go on the website, fill out the form, email us at the office. We'll explain to you what, what it is. Otherwise, stay tuned here on YouTube as we keep doing more updates.